As COVID-19 cases grow around the world, Cuban scientists are hard at work on new biotech products to fight the disease. While authorities here have closed schools and urged most residents to stay home, Cuba's health minister says doctors on the island are ready to treat the expected surge of COVID-19 patients with a wide selection of promising drugs. The package of drugs we are administering is based on the experience of countries hardest hit by the disease. We have considered this with our experts, while our scientists try to add new local drugs to this protocol. The drug prompting the most excitement by far is called interferon alpha 2b, originally produced by Cuba in the 1980s and currently being developed in China through a joint Cuban-Chinese venture. Doctors in the Asian nation reported positive results when used on its recent COVID-19 patients, and the drug tops a list issued by the Chinese Pharmaceutical Association to treat the respiratory disease. Interferon Alpha 2B is produced by the Havana-based Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology Center and over the years has been used to fight diseases from dengue fever to hepatitis and HIV. The Cuban scientists assure that the current reserves and production of interferon allow for the treatment of an indefinite number of COVID-19 cases and also for the export of this product to other nations who might need it. Cuban officials say the drug's timely administration in China led to successful outcomes. Its success, in my view, is due to the use of this drug with proven antiviral action at early stages of the disease, along with some antiretroviral drugs. The scientists also confirmed that there is movement towards the Cuban vaccine against COVID-19. Out of several candidate vaccines, we have one to be submitted to trials on humans soon in order to administer it in the current circumstances. In line with global efforts to fight the new coronavirus, Cuban scientists are playing an active role in the search for new weapons to stop its spread here and around the world. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.